the sound of my whistle while she gripping on my pizza. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl. I'm Unique here. Back with another video. What is up, Unique? It's a thousand degrees out here in Ontario, California. I'm going to just try to concise it as much as possible. Get straight to the point. Um, but me, when I tell stories, I love to give y'all the backstory so y'all can know why I got so upset or why I got out of character. Because I'm going to just uh, put this out there that I'm not a person who is like spiteful. I'm not, um, I'm like, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not like spiteful or vindictive. I'm actually really, uh, caring. And I feel like, I feel like I, 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 uh, I love people blindly. That's just how I am. Like, I'm not one. Like, no, when I get mad and I finally go off, anything that I say to you is well thought out and I think and I be thinking before I speak. So if I said it, I don't give a fuck. Unless I say something, I'm like, oh my God, I didn't mean to say that. Like, then, okay, yeah, then you know I really do know it. But if I'm sitting there and I'm telling you in your face and don't give a fuck and be ready for all smoke behind it, that means I don't care. So, other than that, I think I'm a nice person until I get out of my element. I might look mean, but I'm not mean. So yeah, we about to get right into the story time. It don't even feel that high right here because I got a little thing on top of me, so it ain't squatting me out. But look, sweating. It's not sweating me out. So we got to get right into this video. Okay, so this is like how it all started. So okay, you know I'm not good at doing stories, so I'm not good at telling stories. And plus, I'm really vulgar, y'all. So if you hear me cuss a lot, like I'm sorry. I understand, like. That's not ladylike, but I mean, I mean, is it worse than selling your coochie in the corner? Be cussing? Cause your favorite rapper cuss. Cause like, I don't care though. Cause like, maybe your favorite YouTuber or somebody don't cuss. And they give views and millions and millions of views. But guess what? They don't got to cuss in their videos. But like, do This right here is so good. Like, um, I've been going the last couple of days to go get this. And I was drinking this once upon a time. But now, um, I'm really on this heavy. Because I'm really not supposed to be drinking juice. Because of what's going on with, like, my bladder and everything. I balance out my juice and my water so like this will probably be my only cup of juice today besides probably late at night i might take like a half a cup of juice like so this is good but this is this flavor is melon something it's like um watermelon and cucumber oh my god it is so good normally i don't put ice in here i just get the regular juice but i got some ice in here because it was hot today and i was like let me just you know but since this is good but let me tell y'all, okay, so, I don't know if I should say her name, because I don't need nobody trying to, kind of comfort me, because, but I really don't give a fuck, I'll say her name. My cousin, my older cousin, she's not that much older than me, she's older than me by like a year, but she's, um, she's older than me by a year, and we're not really close. Um, we weren't close before. We're definitely not close now. Um, I haven't talked to her since this incident, which happened, I believe, last year when I was 17 and she was 18. So, um, we about to get right into the juice. Oh, I look like one of the one. Oh, I don't know, I like her. Um, okay, we gonna call her, we gonna call her mashed potatoes because she, like, kind of she not thick food. I know thick and she not thick food. she big and she just wide but you know this generation they call her thick so we just gonna say she's way thicker than me she, um, um my auntie house everybody goes over there for gatherings everybody go over there to uh have parties or whatever whoopie whoopie pop pop so everybody be having fun or whatever going to my to my auntie house but my auntie is really a uh, older woman um she's probably i think like my auntie's like in her 60s or 70s 
but everybody go go to my auntie house for parties and stuff so this particular day um her mama mashed potatoes mama uh, uh me and her really don't get along but she was cool with my mom because they cousins my mom my mom and mashed potatoes mama is cousins so that's my cousin too her her mashed potatoes mama is my cousin and mashed potatoes is my cousin so my um my um i hadn't been at that get together all day i didn't go to the get together i don't know who was there nothing all i i, I was with my other older cousin because she was getting my hair done so i was there with them with my other cousin somewhere else all day i didn't get to the get together until at least 8 30 almost 9 so i got there around that time when i pulled up my home my cousins was there all my little my, my little cousins was there whatever the grown-ups was in the house or whatever i, I pulled up with i pulled up to the scene with this little missy i did that so i walked up to my auntie door and she was sitting right there mashed potatoes mom was sitting right there so she was all like um you a messy little girl and i i was like i'm messy i'm like how am i messy i haven't even been here all day like how my mess what I do and she was like oh you went over there and told your mama this this and that and that's why I already talked to your mama and me, me and your mama already got it uh, established and you messy I'm like I'm messy because you was talking and I told my mama yeah you're messy you're messy so I'm like girl I'm not about to argue with you because like you a whole adult and I'm not about to be arguing with you like whatever so I went in there and told my mama like she up in there talking to me talking about I'm messy and all this stuff like I haven't even been here so why you starting that rah rah with me like I don't know what you're talking about and how I'm, I'm messy or whatever so my mom was like, look, just sit up in here, chill with me, whatever, whatever. So I started getting mad because my mom always trying to do that because she always trying to be a passive person. She always trying to be cool and cordial until she get mad or people finally really do some, some foul stuff to her and then she want to get mad. But she always do that to me. She always be like, oh, you know, dismiss my little feelings or whatever. I don't like to disrespect adults, but, you know, you, you eventually you're going to push me on my element. Don't care your age, size, matter, color. So, or your occupation. So anywho, um, so that's when I was all like that or whatever. I was like, I don't care, like, you know, like whatever, like I'm irritated, I don't care, like I'm ready to go home. So she was like, if you want to go home, just go home. Now, mind you, I had to walk to my house, which is not that far, even though it was late at night, it's not that far, it's literally like three minutes away. So it's cool, I could just walk down the street to my little house or whatever, and I really didn't want to be there anyway. So I was like, okay, I'm a bounce, I'm a shake. So I went outside and she's standing over there at the gate. So when I was going to the gate, she was like, uh, she was like, uh, she was like, I don't care if you go in there and tell your mama. She was like, I don't care if you go in there and tell your mama. Or we'll be with your pop. I'm like, okay, I don't care. I don't care. No, she's like, I don't care if you go in there and tell your mama. That's why you be being messy. I'm like, I'm not being messy because you was the one talking mess. So I'm like, I don't care. Like, I don't care about none of that. So me and her was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And she was uh, steady popping it. So i'm like look girl i'm not about to keep doing this back and forth with you like i'm not about to keep doing this back and forth with you like you really do way too much so i started going back and forth with her and i'm like look it did and then that's when i stopped and told her like look you're an adult and i'm not gonna be going back and forth with you like why are you arguing with a kid like why are you sitting here arguing back and forth with me like you're a whole adult like what are you gonna gain from keep arguing with me like who you think gonna be more childish me or you like, come on now, like, stop trying to argue with me. Like, you too old. So she was all like, oh, you little boy headed ass little girl or whatever. So when she said that, I was like, girl, I know you ain't trying to talk about nobody boy headed. You don't have no sides. You literally don't have no sides. Your, your sides is literally corn, sis. You have none. That's skin. So don't try to come at me talking about boy headed. Because, baby girl, I might, my hair might be short, but mine fit in the ponytail. Yours probably fit in the ponytail too. But I feel like it don't matter how long your hair is, if you ain't got no sides, it uh, defeats the purpose of you having long hair, period. Because you look dumb. What are you brushing in the front? Your shit look like it's receding. No, that's not cute. I don't care how long your hair is. That's like fucking, what the fuck is that? That's like wearing a half a wig. Like, what the fuck? Like, that's dumb. So I told her like, girl, you ain't got no sides. I don't care. Like, and she was like, oh, little popping it. I'm like, I said what I said. So what? Uh, don't care. Don't care. I don't. Don't care. Cause you, when you disrespect me, now I'ma disrespect you, and I don't care who you is. Don't disrespect me like that. You could have came at me any type of way. You could have just said like, you know. Matter of fact, you couldn't. You shouldn't even ever came at me because you was talking mess or talking to my auntie about my mama telling my auntie stuff that at the end of the day that's respect and you're gonna do it in front of my face 
you you should have never came at me like nothing. Don't come at me, period. So I started getting mad, arguing back and forth with her. So I went in there and told my mama again. My mama like, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna go talk to her after this, after this, after this. I'm like, I don't want you to keep talking. I don't want you to talk to her after this. I want you to go outside right now because she's going to make me mad. So my mom was like, you were supposed to be going home anyway. I'm like, she don't want to stand up by the gate. You don't want to let nobody go out. I'm Monty's like, I'm going to walk you outside so you can go out the gate and go home. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to go. I'm about to go home. So I had two phones. Um, two phones. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I had two phones. So, um, and my jacket. So I had my jacket and my two phones on top of my jacket. But I was holding my jacket like 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 this so that's when we were walking out she was still standing by the gate and then when my auntie came out uh she was trying to tell my auntie like oh yeah she disrespectful she need to get up out this gate da, 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 da. my auntie's like all right um i ain't gonna say her real name i'm gonna say i'm gonna say gums because she ain't got no teeth now but i'm gonna say all right i'm gonna be like i'm like i'm like um gums was like telling my auntie like oh yeah um gums was like oh yeah um she need to get up out of here and all this. So my auntie like, look, Gums, I'm finna let her go home. Just stop going back and forth or whatever. So I was like, whatever. So I started walking down to my house. I started walking down to my house, like towards my houseway. And so her daughter, Mashed Potatoes, come outside. No, Mashed Potatoes come out over there, I guess. And while I'm walking, I hear her calling me. So I turn around. I'm like... This is kind of sketchy because you just want to pop up all of a sudden when I haven't seen you when I got here. It's just sketchy that you're right here right now. So I'm like, all right. So I turn around, I'm like, yeah, like, what's up? So she like, um, she like, come here. I'm like, come here, like, what do you want? She like, just come here, just come here. So I'm like, okay. Cause I'm thinking like, you said it like that, like you said it like it's cool. So she walked up to me, she was like, yeah, I'm unique. Um, what are you doing or whatever, whatever. I was like, I'm walking home, why, what's up? She like, oh, because um, I was just gonna tell you you need to stop um, disrespecting adults and stuff and all like this, like she's so any woman. So I was like, um, I'm like, uh, no, adults need to stop disrespecting me. So she was like, she was like, girl, you need to learn some respect for people and all this stuff. I was like, no, D them same people you're talking about, they need to learn respect for other people period and she's like well all i'm telling you is don't disrespect my mama and i i was like okay i'm telling your mama don't disrespect me so then we was low-key getting you know animosity built in that little in that little confrontation so nobody was down there where we was at so it was just us so um right in the middle of that whole little confrontation she got a phone call so she got a phone call and whatever and i was like so I was gonna walk off. So she was like, oh, that what we were saying? But she was talking to the person on the phone. She's like, oh, that's what we're saying? So then she hung up, she's like, oh, I'm gonna you call my mama ball headed. And I was like, I actually said she didn't have no sides. But yeah, I said that. So she's like, oh, I'll fight for mine, I'll fight for mine. So I'm like, okay, like, what's up, baby girl? Like, I'll fight for mine too. So I threw my stuff down on the spot, threw my phone to all that in the grass next to me. And I was like, what's up? So she, um, so before we could even start like preparing to fight, her um mashed potatoes mashed potatoes grandma came running down there breaking us up and she started pushing us down back to where my auntie gate was so she was pushing us pushing us pushing us so i was already mad i have forgot my phones whatever i was mad whatever so she started pushing us down to keep us separated so she had like her she had her um her her granddaughter and she was pushing her granddaughter towards this way, keeping her away from me. And I was walking behind her, trying to like uh, gauge on her granddaughter. So when we got over there by my auntie gate, she started trying to pop it like, oh, what's up, what's up, what's up? I'm like, you you had all the opportunity before I came to just pop off and swing. So I'm like, whatever girl, like, I'm not the one, like you disrespect me. So I was like, okay, whatever. So her auntie was like, y'all stop. No, her, I mean, her grandma was like, y'all stop right now. Y'all stop right now, y'all cousins or whatever. I don't give a fuck about none of that. So I was like, um, as soon as her, her grandma, I mean, her grandma tried to move out the way so that she could open the gate. But when she did that, I took that as an opportunity. So I went around her grandma and I, I swung on her. I, and so her grandma kept trying to fight it. But because it was like 
happening so quick and it was like so much energy and strength that we just started fighting so her grandma couldn't break it up so we was just fighting so right there in front of my auntie house it's like a little a little ditch like it's not like a ditch but it's like a little dip right there in her grass so if you if you don't look good enough if you step right there you'll fall like you probably twist your ankle or something it's not like deep to where you go your whole body will fall in there but it's deep enough to like make you sprain your ankle or something so we was fighting and we had stepped into the little dip and we both fell so she had uh her the advantage to be on top of me but you know once once because i always fight girls bigger than me i never fight girls my size so once she got on top of me my instinct was she got to get up off, off 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 of me because she too big for one she can smother me kill me anything and i'm not trying to have none of that so my whole mind went into survival mode so i just start swinging all up into her in her face all like that and then that's when my uh, other cousin came and our cousin came and he pulled her off and then pulled me apart and he's like y'all stop fighting or whatever whatever so then we stopped fighting or whatever and then um that's when my aunt, my mom and all them ran outside like what happened then i started telling them what happened so then my mom was like oh i'm finna f her up i'm finna i'm about to fuck um i'm finna fuck gums up and then my other auntie like yeah i'm finna fuck her up like so i'm tired of this shit she been doing weirdo shit since like the beginning whatever little thing they've been going through so i was like whatever so i was so we was waiting for her to pull up because gums was nowhere to be found during the scene so all of a sudden she just showed up five minutes later while everybody's like cause everybody was still standing outside because me and um mashed potatoes were still arguing because they had me outside the gate and had her inside the gate and she was back there at her grandma's house talking mess yes my auntie my grandma my my auntie my uncle and all of them still on the same property because the thing is big so it's like a house 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 whatever so she was in the back at her grandma house talking man da, 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 da. and i was like you could come like what's up like we can get around two she didn't want to come outside so i was like whatever they kept telling her to sit back there or whatever so whatever whatever so i'm like i'm not tripping like i really don't care so that was the first incident we had but then my mama uh, when when gum showed up my mama and my auntie were trying to uh fight her and she was scared running around the car she didn't want to fight they literally had to chase her and all of that she didn't want to fight but she wanted to talk shit but um moving on to the next story now the next story i'm gonna get to it quick because i'm gonna just get through it so next story me this is after this first incident me and her hadn't talked nothing i haven't talked to her seen her deal with her nothing now i went to my daddy house for i lived with my daddy for uh, uh for a time for a short time before i went back to live with my mom so during that time i stayed with my dad i didn't know what was going on over there with my mama but i found out when i went back over to my mom's what happened now the situation that happened amongst my mama and her mama master taylor's mama gums was kind of like like it, 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 they got into it like it was an adult thing like adult like my mama and her mom adult conversation like it, they, they was getting into it but her mama allowed her allowed her allow mashed potatoes to get in it and she started disrespecting my mama now now you're disrespecting my mama and my auntie when this had nothing to do with you this is grown people's business kids keep their mouth out of it 18 or not you that they these are grown ass women like you need to stay out their business don't and you shouldn't be over here calling my mama out her name no matter what the situation was or whatever so i'm like okay so i didn't find out this until i had went over there to my mama's house so I, before I found that out when I went to my mom's house before I found that out I had seen her at her grandmother's house and she was looking at me weird and I was like I don't know if she's looking at me like that for because girl but this is not me knowing that she had said stuff to my mom disrespecting my mom I didn't know this so I had told my mom like, at her at her grandma house she was like oh I don't how she talked to me and then my mama told me the whole juice boom so that automatically made me mad. So I knew exactly what had to be done. So I called my other cousin who talked to her and told her like, yeah, you know, giving her the like, you know, being messy on purpose. So I was just telling her being messy on purpose. So my other cousin called her and told her. So the next day she texted me on my cousin's phone, off Instagram, she, she texted me. Me and her was going back and forth. She was talking about my mama, my daddy, everybody, like, just being disrespectful. And I was talking about her mama and her daddy, too, being disrespectful. Well, I don't even know her daddy, but 
I was talking about her little guardian angel or whatever. So, um, I don't care. So, I, I came for her, period. And she came for me. So, with all that being said, I got mad. I was like, okay, do you want to pull up and fight? So, this was in the morning, though. Like, this was in the afternoon, I mean. Like, around 3, we got into it. And my best friend had just came over. You know, my best friend before all that. So, but, we not going to even. Anywho, my, my best friend came over. And then, um... I was telling her like what's up like we could fight like i don't i don't want to keep doing like you want to keep talking about it i just want to fight you like just put up so she took forever to come she didn't come to my house until like seven o'clock and she right down the street at my auntie house where her where her grandma at and that's not far that's literally the 10 minutes away her mama got a car her mama drive anywhere else her mama go drive to go get like maritas to get drunk and look ugly so she could come down the street to come let you get this good old ass with me, period. So I was like, what? Like, period. Like, I was like, just come pull up. Like, why are you going to keep talking about it? Like, just pull up. So then I was like, girl, I'm about, to, I'm about to keep arguing with you. So she kept sending videos, whatever, trying to make me mad. I'm like, girl, I don't care. So I stopped responding to her. Then all of a sudden, she texts me like 30 minutes later, like, oh, I'm outside. So I'm like, okay, like, oh, baby, say less. So I pulled up out there. We start squabbling up. We start squabbling up. My, um, the girl who, the girl she put, she put up with a pack with a pack of girls for just me. And I guess my mama. Cause it was me, my mama, my best friend. It's three bitches. She had like six, seven bitches get out the car. Then the bitches had mace, poles and shit. Like, what are you trying to do? Fight? Or are you trying to kill me? Like, what are you trying to do? Then when we was, then when we started squabbling up, uh, whatever, the first time we fought, it, we went to the ground with it whatever the second time we fought that was the second round but when we was fighting the first round her mama her mama and then was telling her like when she because she had got on top of me again using her big ass weight her mama told her oh beat her head in the ground beat her head in the ground so i was like bitch we are no longer cousins if your mama telling you to beat my fucking head in the ground you really gonna try to try it bitch that's when they all respect for her got really lost no more family nothing so I went from what I what I knew to get this big ass bitch off me. I don't fight fair, bitch. You too big. So I start socking her in her face. I start pulling her, scratching her all in her face, everything. Then that's when they pulled us apart. Then we got up. We got a round two. Now the video I'm gonna show y'all is the round two. It's just like, I don't like you every time I see you, I want to like get my issue up with you again and again, no matter if I want you, because it's just like, who the fuck you think you is walking around me like you're this bitch, you're really not, like, don't ever try to cover me, or not, or try to cover my family, then you gotta go to the But like, the whole point is, that's what happened, that's what happened, and that's the reason I fought my cousin. Now, what I'm gonna tell y'all is, don't fuck with bitches who do weird shit. Now, I didn't give y'all the whole little synopsis of why other reasons why I don't like her because there was other incidents before that led to me really not liking her. But maybe I can get that into a different video if y'all want to see that. But I just, you know, I didn't just come at her. I just wanted to fight her be hostile or be a bully. Like, she had what was coming to her and she would continue to have what's coming to her for me. Now, if she want to get up under my videos and she see this talk that shit, then that's a whole other thing. Because <laughs> now we got another thing to do. But um, other than that, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Y'all enjoyed this video. Hope y'all uh, like and subscribe. Hope this is what y'all looking for. Y'all know I'm not good with story time. I talk a lot. But hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, um, whatever. And maybe I could do more story time in the future. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bye, y'all.